Alright, what the fuck is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can find me on Twitter at Noah More Parties. And we're back this week with another prize picks flex play. We're going five by five. We got five bets here. We got two honorable mentions for Thursday night football. Uh, Commanders versus Bears. We went 5-0 and last week. Again, for the second time in three weeks. We're now, I think, 19-6 and on the season. Doing pretty good after a, uh, a down week four. So looking ahead to week six, I've got five bets. Let's do it. Number one, the uh, line I like is Carson Wentz, 0.5 interceptions thrown. I like the over. Carson Wentz has thrown six picks this season. He's averaging 1.2 per game, and he's thrown at least one pick in four out of five games so far. And according to playerprofiler.com, Carson Wentz is currently number one in the league in pressured throws, number one in the league in danger plays, and number one in the league in interceptable passes. So he's a he's a DGAF quarterback. He's a YOLO ball thrower. He's thrown picks in almost every game this season. And the Bears defense has five total interceptions this season and has picked off a pass in four out of their five games. I like Carson Wentz to throw a pick tonight. The next line I like is Trenton Gill. For four and a half punts, I like the over. This is the Bears punter. He's currently averaging 4.2 punts per game, and teams facing Washington have punted 28 times, which is what? That's almost six per game. That's number one in the league, and they've punted five plus times in each of the last four games against Washington. And so far this season, the fourth down decision making in Chicago has been very conservative. They've gone for it on just two of their 38 fourth downs. According to runningbacksdontmatter.com, they are last in the league in go rate in situations where like advanced play-by-play stats say that they should go for it. So the Bears are not going for it hardly ever on fourth down. So odds are if they if there's a situation where they could punt, they're going to punt. Teams are punting against Washington a lot. I like, what is this guy's name? I like Trenton Gill to punt at least five times tonight. The next line I like is another kicking line, and that's Cairo Santos, the Bears kicker, for over six kicking points. So not field goals made, not fantasy points, six points kicking. He's averaging six and a half per game with 11 points and 10 points in his last two games played. He missed, uh, he played in their last game, but he missed the one before that. So this isn't even counting that week four game that he missed when the Bears signed Michael Badgley to replace him for one week, and he kicked and made four field goals. So had 12 points that week. So in the last three weeks, the Bears kicker has 10, 12, and 11 points off of their kicking. Uh, And kickers facing Washington have averaged 8.4 points per game. They've hit six plus in four out of their five games. And the Washington defense is top eight in the league in both total attempted field goals and total attempted extra points against them. So teams are are scoring on Washington. They're kicking against Washington. The Bears kickers have been kicking a lot and making a lot of kicks lately. I like Cairo Santos to score more than six points tonight. The next line I like is JD McKissick, 19 and a half receiving yards. I like the over. We're, it's, it's all overs today. This should be a shitty game, maybe low scoring, but I picked a lot of overs. 19 and a half receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 31.8 right now. He's He's got, what, 12 yards of wiggle room, 13, 14 yards of wiggle room on his current uh, season average. He set this over in four out of his five games. He had 16 receiving yards in the only game in which he didn't hit the over, so he was just like four yards short. And in his other games, he had 20 yards, so he barely hit it. But then 54, 32, and 37 yards for J.D. McKissick through the air. He's seventh in total routes run and third in total targets among running backs this season. He's a good receiver. He's been productive this year. And based on his current production... There's a lot of wiggle room on this line for him, so I like the over for J.D. McKissick. And the last of the 5x5 for the flex play tonight is Curtis Samuel, 4.5 receptions. I like the over. He's averaging 6.4 receptions per game. He's hit the over on this line in 4 out of his 5 games, and he had 4 receptions in the one game in which he didn't hit this over, so he was 1 reception away. His other games, he had eight, seven, seven, and six receptions. They're they're just feeding him. He's averaging nine targets per game with an eight out of just 4.8. So he's really close to the line of scrimmage, getting easy dump off passes, you know, screens and drags and things like that. Those are easy passes to complete. And
and they're throwing to him a lot. I like Curtis Samuel to catch the ball at least five times tonight. And then I got two honorable mentions. There were actually quite a few lines that I like for this game, but I picked these two. Terry McLaurin, 54 and a half receiving yards is the line. I like the over. He's averaging 65.2 per game. He's hit the over on this line in four out of five games. He's averaging 96 air yards per game and he's run the most routes of any wide receiver in the entire league. He's not being targeted as frequently as like Curtis Samuel is, but they play completely different roles, whereas Curtis Samuel is getting a lot of opportunity via targets close to the line of scrimmage. Terry McLaurin's opportunity is coming in the form of like less frequent targets, but further down the field. And so if he can catch some of those, which he he has been this season based on, you know, his seasonal averages, he should be able to get at least 55 receiving yards tonight. And then the last line I like is Justin Fields, 165.5 passing yards. This line is incredibly low. And I know Justin Fields has not been very productive this year, but I like the over. He started slow, but he's hit this line, the over on this line in both of his last two games. He's averaging 191 passing yards in those two games. And opposing quarterbacks against Washington have hit this line in every game this season. And it's not like they're facing Pat Mahomes and Josh Allen every week. In week one, Trevor Lawrence went for 275. The next week, Jared Goff, 256. Jalen Hurts, 340. Then Cooper Rush had 223. Ryan Tannehill had 181. Quarterbacks are kind of lighting them up, not even good quarterbacks for the most part. Fields doesn't even need to have a good game in order to hit this over. So that's what I like. Five by five with a couple honorable mentions. Uh, hopefully we can 10x again. That would be nice if we could go uh, 50% through six weeks in uh, hitting five of five. Let's do it.